Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullmoon Adventure Club and today we're going to be doing a full review of the Safari ME. This is a portable solar generator. It's by Lion Energy and this is a really cool piece of equipment. So what we're going to be going over today is the tech specs, how much does it weigh, how fast does it recharge, what can it run, uh, what are all the little ports and stuff like that. Then we'll go over um, showing you all the things that it can run that I've tested around my house, including my entire house hooked up to the breaker panel and a transfer switch which was pretty cool. And then we'll go over any pros and cons and we'll see if this is something that's right for you. If it does end up being something that you're interested in, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below of this video that will save you 15% off anything at Lion Energy. And that's hundreds of dollars, guys. So thanks very much for Lion Energy uh, giving me that code so I can give that discount to all of you. If you're interested, link down below. So what we're gonna do right now is jump into the tech specs and uh, we're gonna go from there. So let's jump into it. So here we are looking at the front. You're going to have your main switch on the top. That's your main power button that kind of gives power to the entire unit. Then you're going to have four smaller buttons down below that are going to activate those little sections of outputs. The screen itself has this battery display on it that's at 100% right now and that will go down in percentage as the battery gets lower. Next to that you have your time to empty display and that's going to tell you how many hours and minutes you can keep running whatever you have plugged in until the battery is dead. When you're charging the unit, that does switch to time to full and it'll tell you how many, uh, how much time you have before the, inner, the unit is charged back up again. On the display, you're also going to have little indicators up top that are going to tell you what sections are turned on, uh, whether it's the AC outputs or the USBs or the cigarette lighter section and those are up top as well. It'll also have a little solar charging light uh, when you do have solar plugged in. Now to the left, you have your output for these two uh, outputs right here and this what this one is a cigarette lighter at 12 volts at 15 amps and then down below that you have an Anderson power pole connection that's 12 volts at 25 amps and these are regulated DC current so even if the battery gets down uh, below 12 volts or something like that it's gonna keep producing 13.6 volts out of these two outlets so that whatever you have plugged in is gonna run at optimal power level so that's awesome in the middle, you have this uh, smaller output, and these are for your USBs. You have two 5 volt, 2.4 amp normal USBs. And the next to that, you have C type USB connections um, with 18 watts for this first one. That's going to quick charge your phone. That's going to get it to say fast charging. And next to that, you have a PD 60 watt port with a C with a C type connection. And that can be used to charge laptops or fast charge your phone as well. On the right of that, you push this button, you're going to activate the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and both of these two AC 110 outlets. And uh, those can be used to power anything that runs off AC power, uh, you know, like a refrigerator or a power tool or anything like that. Okay, starting on the back, we are going to have our power cable to plug into the house and charge this guy up in as little as one hour and 23 minutes which is crazy cool, that's very, very fast. You're also gonna have your solar charge port, which can charge the unit in an hour and 35 minutes with the maximum 585 watts off that MPPT charge controller. You're also gonna have our battery connection port where you can add the optional expandable battery pack. And down below that, you're gonna have a little 30 amp resettable fuse. So if you go over current and it trips the breaker, you push that button and you're all reset. You're also gonna have all of your specs on the back as well. You can see it has an internal battery of capacity of 922 watt hours and all of its AC outputs, DC, USB, all that good stuff. All of that information is located right there. This has a lithium iron phosphate battery inside, which is fantastic. That provides increased capacity, more output, faster charge times. But the thing that I really love about a lithium iron phosphate battery is that you can have a full discharge cycle 2,500 times. So 2,500 times you can take it from 100% full to 100% empty and it's going to be just fine. You can do that 2,500 times. That's going to be every day for 6.8 years. If you take 2,500 and divide it by 365, you get 6.8. So for seven years, you can use this guy completely full to empty every single day for seven years. And even then, the battery's just going to still be at about 80% capacity. So that is incredibly cool. This will last you a very long time. The battery is just going to last forever. And it's just, you can charge them so fast and use them so many full cycles. I just love these types of batteries. So that's a very cool feature. 
Here are the dimensions. You have 18.7 inches across, 12.8 inches tall, and 12.8 inches deep. Um, as far as the weight is concerned, it's 45.5 pounds. Definitely portable with the two nice sturdy handles up top. Um, you're not going to want to take this hiking, obviously, but it's great for, you know, car camping next to your tent, RV stuff, uh, taking to construction sites, using around the house. It is portable. You're not going to want to hike around with it, but it is very portable. As far as the expandable battery is concerned, that's going to basically make your capacity three times greater. You're going to go from 922 watt hours and add 2048 watt hours to give you a total that's very close to 3000 watt hours of usable energy. It just plugs right into the back of the unit and it will change, it will charge and discharge off of the ME. Um, you cannot add any other batteries to this unit. So it has to be the expandable battery that Lion Energy sells. As far as their solar panels are concerned, they are 100 watt, 24 volt solar panels. I have four of these. They're very well built. They come in a little suitcase form. They have nice latches, so you can kind of latch them up. They have a handle so you can carry them around, or you can just lay them all flat. They also have stands so you can stand them up. And these are really good panels made with roof grade glass. So I mean, hailstorms and stuff like that shouldn't mess with these things at all. You can add up to eight of these uh, panels just so each one's 100 watts, but if you're getting not optimal sun or it's cloudy, you're gonna get a lot closer to that full 585 watts of capacity from that MPPT charge controller. So that's very cool. Okay, so there are all the technical specs. Let's talk about what kind of things you can run off this guy. Now with a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 4000 watt surge, that's gonna run just about anything you can imagine of, that runs off 110 volts. Um, just fine by itself. I mean, that's a lot of power. Um, and as far as the times that it's going to run everything, they have a little list on their website for some estimates, uh, 36 watt mini fridge, 25 hours, a five watt phone charger. You can charge your phone up to 92 times, uh, laptops. You can charge up to 17 times, uh, 55 LCD TV for 12 hours, a four watt reading lamp for 230 hours and a 500 watt hot plate for 1.8 hours. Now, those are the things that they list on their website, but I actually, I've run it through a ton of tests here at the house and I've used it to run a chop saw, a circular saw. I used it to sand my entire cabin living room floor and that was using a belt sander and an orbital sander. And uh, these were two days at about eight hours the first day and then I think we pushed it to like 10 or 11 hours the, the next day and um, it made it through the entire day um, I think the second day where we did that large push for 10 or 11 hours, I had to plug it in for the last 30 minutes, but it did really well doing the entire cabin as this time lapse shows. We ran all of that off the ME. So for power tools and construction stuff, it'll definitely handle pretty much anything you're going to throw at it. Um, it has run my refrigerator. I've done a load of dishes in the dishwasher while it was running my entire cabin. I also did a load of laundry in the washing machine while I was doing my entire cabin. Um, I can't use it on my dryer because that's a 240 volt, you know, 220 volt uh, dryer. But if you had a gas dryer, uh, this would run the drum and run your dryer if it ran off gas. Electrical, no, because this is a 110, that's a 220. But um, also I ran my RV air conditioner using this guy and that's a Dometic 15,000 BTU air conditioner. And um, I was able to get close to five hours of runtime off of uh, this guy with the external battery pack and some solar as well. But that's a really large air conditioner. I ran it for almost five hours. Um, also, I used it to run a 10,000 BTU uh, window unit that I have, where it has a tube that goes up to the window. I set up that experiment and it ran that just fine. Um, I've also used, I mean, if you were using a small 5,000 BTU window unit that runs at about 500 watts, I think you could get about six hours using the expandable battery pack and the unit without solar. So that's very impressive. And I think the biggest test of all that really shows what this guy can do is I hook this into my entire cabin through a transfer switch uh, that's hooked up to my breaker panel outside. So it switches from grid power, turns all that off to a generator. And I used the Safari ME as that generator plugged it right in. My entire house was turned on. Every plug, every light, 
every single thing in this entire house worked just like it normally would, minus the dryer. Um, and if you wanna see that video, I will put that up top. It's a really cool video where it runs my entire cabin and my refrigerator is going. And I even have, I even use the microwave, this giant LG microwave uh, while it's running my entire house. So I'll put a card up there if you wanna check out that video. But I counted up all the things that were running during that video and I'll just go through the list real quick. These are all the things that were running at one time off of the Safari ME. It was about 122 LED lights because I have those weird fixtures all over my house and uh, Bistro lights outside. Four lamps with incandescent bulbs, five Alexas uh, that were in the house, 10 smart plugs that turn on and off lights and things, uh, eight LED night lights that were on in little rooms, you know, that just probably take no power at all, but they were there. Um, 60, uh, 60 inch LCD TV, we watched movies, we used it for like four hours all night. Um, a fire stick so we could, you know, watch movies on Netflix or whatever and a jetpack, which is where we get our internet from. So it's a little um, internet jetpack and it goes through Verizon and we get our signal through that. Um, also one router that boosts that signal. So I have it all over the house and I have a good range and I can connect lots of devices. Uh, my stereo receiver that was run to the TV, my laptop plus an extra monitor, um, three external hard drives, three LED video lights, uh, my refrigerator, and during that video, I even turned on the giant LG microwave while it was running all of those things. So that's a cool video. You should definitely check it out. But I've been very impressed with this guy. And um, as far as what you can run with it, just about anything. Um, the 2000 watt inverter is very impressive. And I even pushed it over that by I think about 200 watts um, while I was doing the microwave test on the cabin. So, so far I've been really impressed. This guy is a workhorse with what it can do. Now we're gonna get into some pros and cons and things that might be good for some people and might be problems for other people and anything that I found during all of my testing. So let's jump right into the do's and don'ts, and pros and cons right now. Okay, so let's get into some of the pros and cons of my overall thoughts on this guy. Um, as far as cons go, there's a couple of things that I would like to see improved on or changed, and that's with the display. I would like to see the overall wattage coming in from your solar panels and the wattage going out to your devices on the display. Right now it just has a battery with a percentage right there and also your time to empty. And for a lot of people, that's probably more than enough. Um, I kind of like to geek out on the actual numbers of wattage coming in and wattage going out. Not a deal breaker for me because I actually just bought these two little uh, 10 or $20 displays. You wire them into whatever's coming in or out and it shows you the watt hours, the amperage, the watts, all that good stuff. And I can use them on other projects. So that wasn't a deal breaker for me. It was very easy to overcome just by buying these uh, little displays on Amazon. I'll put links down in case you want to pick one of those up too. Um, I also talked to them about that and they said they were actually thinking about putting that in very soon, just uh, doing a software change and uh, putting that onto the display. So hopefully they'll change that up. Um, the other thing, they only have two AC plugs on the front. I think they had room for four, which is always nice just to have a couple of extra plugs. Again, not a deal breaker for me because I got a surge protector off Amazon. It has eight plugs and four extra USBs. I can plug into the bottom plug and then I still have the top plug for big heavy duty stuff. So again, not really a deal breaker there either. Um, full disclosure, when I got the first unit, I usually get prototypes. Uh, when people send me stuff, it's the first one they made in the factory, working out the bugs, building it by hand. And when I did the MPPT charge controller wouldn't always start in the mornings automatically. I'd have to unplug it and plug it back in. And also one of the USB ports on the front didn't work. Um, I just told them about that. And they were like, let's send you one of the production ones that we're actually sending out to people. And they shipped that one to me. And I took this cool picture of both of them together. It looked really cool. But then I sent the old one back and the new one's been working fine for six months. Um, I've been putting it through a lot of abuse, but um, just thought I should share that with you. I also checked their reviews and I've seen uh, next to nothing about any of any problems where they've had to send it back because of hardware issues. So I think it was probably just the unit I got. Um, overall, my impression of this guy is very impressive. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's really going to be beneficial for people that want to have an emergency power kit. I mean, it ran my entire cabin. That's crazy. If you're in a real big house, you're going to have to pick and choose what appliances or things you want to run, but it's definitely enough to get you through some power outages. Um, I would recommend the solar and the expandable battery pack. The price is going to get up there, but you want the solar so you can recharge it without power. 
in case it lasts for a few days. And the expandable battery really ups the amount of power. I mean, times three, it goes from 1,000 watt hours to 3,000 watt hours. And that's just beneficial for long periods of time. Um, construction, I could see you using this to run your power tools during the day with just the unit. And if you manage to drain it, it'll charge in an hour and 20 minutes. So you can go home for lunch, come back, you're good to go or get the expandable battery pack and you're gonna be good all day because I sounded my whole cabin using this guy, which is pretty impressive. Um, RV users, yes, absolutely. The cool thing about this guy is if you're in an RV park, you, run, you can run your generator during the day for a little while. It starts to get dark or it's quiet time. You don't wanna bug your neighbors. You can turn your generator off and use this guy to keep running all of the stuff in your RV the rest of the night. It, it's gonna handle your, your furnace fan, your lights, your TV, all that stuff, no problem. CPAP machine, absolutely. Um, if you wanna use it for the air conditioner, you can. You could get an extra three hours of air conditioner runtime without running a noisy generator at night and then just plug it in when you're running your generator and it'll charge up in an hour and 23 minutes. So for RV users, it is pretty darn cool. I have mine just in the closet uh, with a plug in there so I can plug it in and I have all that usable battery power. And um, I think it's, it's pretty cool for RV users as well. It does take up some space with the expandable battery pack, but it is pretty valuable to use if you wanna stay off of a gas generator and uh, have a quiet means to run your RV. It's pretty cool for that as well. So what I recommend it, if it's in your wheelhouse, yes, absolutely. If you're trying to run a huge house all in one solar system, um, you might wanna build your own. But this is for people that don't wanna go through all that trouble, don't wanna try and put it all together, don't wanna do the math, the wiring, the stuff, the things. This is a great all-in-one kit for emergency survival uh, preparation or running a really small little off-grid cabin. I think it'd do that just fine. It almost runs mine completely. Uh, off-grid, but I have some big appliances. Mine's more of a house than a small off-grid cabin, but I've used it three times for power outages and it was a lifesaver. It was so great. No noise. It's inside. There's no odors. There's no fumes. There's no gas. It'll run for like seven, eight years off the battery, recharging it every day. And um, nobody can steal it because it's not a generator outside. Nobody's going to hear that you have it uh, because it's very, very quiet and a lot of weird little benefits like that. Um, it is portable, you're not gonna wanna hike around with it, but you can move it around easily, one person. You know, it's like 45 pounds. And um, so I think it really works well for a lot of people. And if it's something that's in your wheelhouse, in your set of needs, I would recommend it. The 2000 watt inverter is a workhorse and very, very cool. Um, if you do wanna pick one up, again, the link down below will save you 15%, which is hundreds of dollars off of this guy. So thanks Line Energy for that. And um, I think that about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.